Recently I reviewed this little uh, Ghoul RC all-in-one camera transmitter and recorded the output on uh, my Eshin Pro DVR through uh, the goggles. I didn't really know what to expect, but I was a little bit disappointed with the quality of the, of the video. The comparison that we saw wasn't really comparing apples with apples because the Hubson footage um, is recorded directly on the craft and the footage from this was recorded uh, after being transmitted. So I got to thinking whether there was some way we could break out the composite video from this little guy and have the DVR recorder strapped to the Hubson and see if it um, improved things, see what difference there was between the output of the camera directly and after it's been transmitted. So let's, uh, let's see if we can discover where the composite video out is on this little guy. So I've brought out my little uh, oscilloscope that I built and there's a good ground connection just underneath the antenna there, so that's good. Now I have seen on the internet um, many of these little boards, the composite video out uh, is on the end of this row of three connections here. So let's just take a probe at that and see what we can see. So looking at that signal there, I think we're in, in luck. Um, let's go and grab a, a little monitor and see if we've actually got a, a video out there. Let's power the little guy on. And we have the ground wire connected as before. And I think we can just press this onto the connector there. Ah, yes. So that appears to be working fine. So we can tap off of that point and uh, connect up our, our DVR. I've gathered the necessary parts now. Fortunately, EA Sheen provide a, a bunch of, uh, of, of cables for various purposes, and I've just selected the one with no ends on. Now, when you look at the guy, don't get confused because the labels are not in line with the actual cables. So it actually starts here with plus five ground, then video in and ground are all the ones that need to concern us. As we see, it requires five volts and we only have a single lithium cell. So here we have a little boost converter and as always, links in the description. And this uh, will take anything from one volt and output five volts. So that should get us where we need to be and it'll do that at up to 500 milliamps, half an amp, which is fine for this. Uh, I wouldn't be able to power the, uh, the camera as well. Let's get soldering. Using the standard tip on my Haku soldering iron, we're just going to solder the power connectors on first. followed by the ground and plus 5 volts for the DVR. Finally, I switch to a much finer tip on my iron for the final job, which is a little bit tricky. Forgive the shaking. appears to be firmly fixed. Let us check uh, the fruits of our labour. Firstly, I've disconnected everything so that we can test the output of our little converter module. Let's plug that in. And let's check the output. 5.1 volts, so that looks very good. Now I'm going to get my composite monitor and temporarily connect it to the output of the DVR and uh, we'll see if we can see a picture. And we can see that the DVR is booting up. That takes a moment, but um, there we have the picture. It's uh, obviously impossible to tell right now whether it's uh, any, any different to the transmitted version. I guess the only thing to do now is to strap it onto the quad and uh, go fly.
What have we learned from this exercise? Well, I couldn't really see much discernible difference between the transmitted recording and the recording directly from the uh, composite video from the camera. Uh, however, what was interesting was discovering where the composite video is and uh, if you're using this on a quad, for example, that has a flight controller with um, on-screen display output, what you can do is actually cut through this connection, take the video out from the camera to the flight controller, and then back from the flight controller and transmit it with the on-screen display. So that was worth knowing. We've also learned it is a very bad idea to strap your battery on top of where your GPS receiving antenna is. Uh, don't ask me how I found that out, but um, that's not a good idea. Very happy with this little board. Um, often we see many step down from four cells, five cells, whatever, down to, to, to five volts. But this being able to boost from a single um, lithium cell up to five volts, I think is an excellent, uh, an excellent find. And we've learned that it's very dusty in Spain, but I knew that anyway. Well, it is the only desert in, in Europe. Hope you give it a thumbs up and, uh, and we'll subscribe.